Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaScript tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how to use arrays in JavaScript. Now, first of all, what is an array? An array is a variable which is capable of storing more than one value. Okay, so using array, you can store multiple value in a variable. Now, let's see how we can declare an array in JavaScript. So you use var to declare an array as any other variable and then the name of a variable. For example, we want the collection of name or uh, multiple names in a variable and then you use the square bracket to declare them. And for example, I'm going to add some names here, something like this. So this array name has four names inside it. So it's storing four different names, right? Now to access this array, for example, you want to access uh, the first element of this array, how you can do it. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to just uh, print this value using document.getElement by ID. And I have this uh, paragraph tag here, whose ID is demo, which I'm calling here, dot inner HTML is equal to and for example I want to print the whole array so I can just call this like this okay and save your code and refresh it and you will see here all the names printed on the web page right so arrays has some indexes and indexes is nothing but the position at which the value is stored and this value starts from zero in the case of array so this position of uh, the first value is zero index because the index starts from zero so the index of tom is zero john is one and bill is two and mark is three Right. So for example, I want to access this uh, name John. So I can just write here name and then in the square bracket one and one is the index here. Okay. And save your code and refresh it. And it's printing John. Now, for example, I want to access this uh, name Tom here. The index of it is zero. Okay. And just save it and refresh it. And then it will give you Tom. Right. So indexes in array start from zero. Now, if you want to change some item at some index, what you can do here is you can just call the name of your array and then the index on which you want to change. So for example, I want to change this uh, name Tom and I want to make this name starting with capital T, not with small t. So I will just use name zero and then is equal to the new name right so the new name is tom with the capital t right and thus just save your uh, code and now refresh it and now you can see the name becomes tom with capital t right now using this uh, method you can also add some items to the array so right now i have four items in my array and the index of uh, these items are zero one two three so i can add at the fourth place an item so i can just write four and in here i can add a new item so something like this and then i can print my array something like this save your code and refresh it and now my array has five items in it now there is one more way of uh, pushing element in the array so for example you want to add one more item in the names so you can use names dot push and then you can just add a new name so for example some new name something like this okay and then save your code and refresh your web page and now you can see one more item is added to your array so you can use push or using this index method to add to an array now there are some method associated with arrays which you can use to use the arrays now for example i want to uh, know how many number of elements are contained inside the array. So I can use 
a method called the length so just use the name of the array which is names in my case then use dot and then call length method on it and then it will give you the number of uh, elements inside the array right so save your code and refresh it and it says six which is true because these are four names and these two names we have pushed outside the array right now there is one more method you, which you can call on the array which is called sort and this will sort all the element in the array for example you have names here so it will uh, sort the names according to the alphabetical order right so save your code and refresh it and now you can see these names are sorted in alphabetical order so b first and then j then m then t right now it's not necessary that array must have the elements of same data types so for example i want uh, strings and integer in my array it's totally valid so for example i'm going to delete this name and instead of this name i'm going to add this integer 500 right and save my code and refresh my web page and it's going to add this integer to the array and it's no problem right now there is a different way of declaring an array also and which is something like this so var name one for example is equal to new array and then in the brackets you can provide the elements okay so for example i can just copy this and paste it here and it's totally valid okay and i'm going to declare it above here and I'm going to call this name one here and save it and refresh my web, web page and it's going to give me the same result as we have seen earlier okay now you can use some more examples with arrays for example I will delete this array declaration and uh, this also and I will use this uh, name and I will call a method called pop okay and what this method does is it removes the last element from the array okay so i will just call this array here and save my code and refresh it and you can see we, i only have three elements in the array fourth is removed okay now if you want to remove the first element from the array you call a method called shift here okay and it's going to remove the first element from the array so let's save it and uh, refresh the web page and now you can see the first element tom is removed and the second third and fourth elements are here okay now if you want to add some element to the first place for example at index zero you can use unshift method so just write names dot unshift and then you can add the value here for example ben and then save your code and refresh the web page and now you can see at the zeroth index this name is added so in this way you can use arrays in javascript i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now